Hey, this is Emma from All Aboard coming to you from a customer's combine where we're fixing a bearing that went out on the what, Dan? The cylinder drive. On the cylinder drive. And we're going to show you today how we're going to take it off. Dan has already attempted to, to take it off with a bearing puller, but it's just it's stuck on there, so we're going to have to do something. We're going to cut it off with a torch. Because? Because it won't come off with a bearing puller. So this is the only other way that we can think of, really, this is how the next step, right? You got it. Okay. So my job, actually Dan's job, is going to be to run the torch to try to cut the bearing off up there. And my job is to watch for fires. And I got a fire extinguisher right there to put out anything that may catch fire. And we got our little helpers today, Leslie. Yep, and I have and I have the presses on for I don't get blind. Yeah, that's right, because we don't want to look at the bright light, right? Right, so and we got you turn around. Elizabeth. And you're gonna be turning around, right? right? So you don't look at the light. Alright. Pretty hot in there. Yeah, it's extremely hot. Can I look now? Can I step over? Can I look now? Yes. Yeah, she can look at the hammer glasses. I gotta grab my hammer. So now he's cut it through. And what's the next step, Dan? We gotta try to knock it off. We're gonna lift it up and then we're gonna try to knock it off. Okay. Hi, hey, Emma. I'm gonna need you to run a pry bar. Okay? Yep. Alright, Elizabeth, come here. Uh -huh. I want you to video that right there, okay? Uh -huh. It's such a red button. <laughs> so do I touch the red button? No, just, just leave it. Just point it at it. Huh? Like this. Go a little more toward the solar across from each other. That's it? Yeah. On the back side? Just say it up. Just say it up for a second. Did you know this can hear you? Oops. What? This can hear you. Huh? Sissy. Ready? I think I want it. Hey, Sissy. What, Leslie? Uh, I need to talk for you. I need to talk for a second. Yeah. Boom. I'm video taking, taking this. I'm going to get it now. It's too far out. You should have. You got a different. There you go. Alright, so we got the bearing off and it slid down off the shaft. 
And then what's our next step, Dan? Just got to take the rest of the pieces off, and then we'll take some emery cloth and clean up the shaft so it's all clean and, before smooth. We, and smooth before we slide the new bearing on. But we got to let it cool down a little bit so they're not working on the hot pieces. Because it's like how many degrees? Like oh, it's, it? right now it's probably five, six, seven hundred degrees. That's a little toasty. Because when you start cutting it, I think it's over twelve hundred. Oh my goodness. Okay. So then we're ready for our new bearing after it's cooled off. After it's cooled off and it's cleaned up, we're ready for the new bearing. Sounds like a plan. So that's what it looks like when you cut off right through the side of the bearing. And this is like the inside of the bearing, right? And then balls go on the outside and then another circular covering, right? Correct. That's a pretty big bearing. What is that, like? Pretty good size. Size of my palm. After you get the old bearing off and it cools down, you take some emery cloth and clean up the shaft and then slide your new bearing on. Like so. What is emery cloth? It's like sandpaper, sort of. And it's metal? Mm, it's just gritty. There's holes in it so that the dirt can go through. Okay. I already kind of emery clothed it before. Then you just slide your bearing on. Go up a little bit, Leslie. A little bit more. There we go. No more. You're good. There we go. But now the, the whole bearing is replaced then. Yep. We just got to put the bolts in and tighten up the lock. And uh oh. Me, me, me. Say, uh -oh. and that's how it's done. That's how it's done. That's why um, we need to get all of this done before we can go home. For uh, seat training. There you go.